Welcome back, this is John Locke, and today I wanna to talk about an opportunity that I think uh, many smaller businesses are uh, missing the boat with. Uh, for many of us, we have certain social platforms that we gravitate toward. Uh, for many people that I know that are running a smaller industrial uh, type of company where it might be a few people, uh, a lot of you are uh, uploading stuff to Facebook or maybe Facebook and Instagram. One thing that is very, very important, if you have video and you're uploading it to Facebook or Instagram, you are going to get traffic, but it's only gonna be from people within Facebook or Instagram uh, who are already on that platform and usually already like or follow your page or people who are somehow connected to it and you're limiting your reach. Um, the platform that you should be uploading video to is YouTube. Um, absolutely take the time, take a few minutes to create a YouTube account. If you have a Gmail account already, just uh, create a YouTube account. It'll be uh, connected to that. But ideally you have an email address that is just for business and make a YouTube account connected to that. Upload your videos to YouTube. You will get far more reach than if you only upload to Facebook. And I understand that Facebook for a lot of you or Instagram for a lot of you is the path of least resistance and it's the easiest thing to do because you're already there and you know, you're, you're already on Facebook. That's how you communicate with your friends and your network. And I totally get it. But you are passing up an opportunity if you do not upload to YouTube as well because Google owns uh, YouTube. Google doesn't own Facebook. Google owns YouTube. And in search results, they like to push their own property, which is YouTube, which is why a lot of the time you see videos at the top of Google search results. So this is why I'm telling you, Facebook, think of it, it's like a closed platform. You have to be on Facebook and you have to be on Instagram. By the way, Facebook does own Instagram and they own WhatsApp um, and they own Facebook Messenger, obviously. But those four things are all Facebook properties. YouTube is a Google property. Um, so don't limit yourself to one ecosystem of platforms. And I do understand that a lot of people are on Facebook and a lot of people are on Instagram. Um, what I'm saying is it's good to cross upload. But if you are uploading stuff to Facebook, all I'm saying is just upload it to YouTube and you're gonna get a lot more reach because um, it's a separate ecosystem and everybody is pretty much on Google or YouTube. And yeah, a lot of people are on Facebook too, but not everybody is gonna see your page. Only the people who like your page really are gonna see it. So you might be a lot limited. With YouTube, it is unlimited. Um, and anybody that's searching around, searching around for a particular thing might see that. So keep that in mind. And when you do upload to YouTube, name the name of the video, something descriptive, like your service, your city, what you're doing in the video, and then fill out the description below. In that description, put a link back to your website and be sure to fill out the tags as well. And just put tags for, you know, what you're trying to be found, found for. Don't put your rivals do not put your like your rivals brand names in there, but put your brand name, put uh, what it is and you do and where you want to be found. Put tags like that in there. You're going to do okay. Um, just remember, Facebook isn't the only place where you need to be, be doing marketing. It's not the only place. All right, that's it. My name is John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. And uh, I'm here every single day giving SEO tips. That's all I have for now. I'll be back tomorrow with a new SEO tip, and until next time, peace.